to a before and after the dodge and burn as you can see we've, uh, we've really brought out and popped out the details of the this awesome McLaren all right so uh, now let's um, add a bit of contrast so I'm going to uh, create a layer stamp tool and that is by holding command alt shift n for a new layer and then command alt shift e to merge you know all these uh, layers together and create a new layer out of it okay so um, let me introduce you and uh, I've said that in my previous course uh, you can download the Nick collection software for free plugins actually plugins is not software but uh, yeah it's available for free by Google so uh, head to their site download it before they uh, actually make it I'm not sure if they are ever going to make that a non free software I mean something that you have to pay for or, um, but yeah so once you're down done downloading it and installing it uh, head to Nick collection color fix pro 4 Click on that. I'm not finding the right words today either. So it seems that whenever I'm going to record a tutorial, I tend to forget my words. All right. For the pro contrast, I kind of like the uh, settings. So uh, let me just show you how this works. This removes the any color cast. I kind of like that color cast right there. I think somewhere about the middle, 42 is good. Correct the color cast, that's about just too much of a contrast. I think it was just good where it was. Dynamic contrast, again, um, I think somewhere around there is just enough. Going to add another contrast, which is the tonal contrast. And that's when it gets messy. Just don't want to add saturation. Just two percent is fine. Blacks sixteen. Um, metones. That sounds around what? Let's see about thirty. Just less than 30 yeah I think that would work all right let's say okay and let's save that it's gonna All right, so let's see the before and after the contrast. Yeah, that's really a good amount of contrast. You can see that the details and the skies are back, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with this.